I'm going to walk you through installing the Mabbit grill lights, otherwise known as the Raptor lights. Obviously, you go ahead, pop the hood on your Bronco, and here's a unboxing of the, the lights themselves. The, the wiring that you need and the lights pretty easy comes with some pretty detailed instructions which are good pictures a little small so, so it's kind of hard to see some of the details in the photos but gets the job done first thing you're gonna do is remove all these clips that are holding this trim panel these are the pretty standard trim panel clips that you pop the middle part out Sorry, it's a little blurry. It was real close, it didn't focus. Pop the middle part out using a proper tool. Pull that out, and then you can remove the base. And it just pops right out. So you're gonna do that with the rest of those clips in that upper trim panel. Once you've removed the trim clips, you're going to go ahead and loosen up that upper trim panel and go ahead and remove it. Next up, you're going to disconnect, if you have the trail camera in the front, you're going to disconnect this little wire harness that goes to the camera, uh, as well as the washer hose that goes to the camera. Disconnect that. And you've got some screws to remove in the top of the grill that hold it in place. You can see where those are here. So remove those, and then you can start removing the grill. And I made things more complicated for myself because I've got the uh, JCR pre-runner bar on top of my bumper, which got in the way. So I ended up having to uh, loosen that quite a bit to uh, give myself some wiggle room to get that grill out. But here you can see at this point, I'm just disconnecting, kind of pulling those clips out that hold it, hold it to the body. And then there's me saying, nah, -uh, can't do it because of that pre-runner bar, so I gotta loosen it up and I'll spend some time doing that. Keep on loosening that up. Finally got it loose enough to be able to uh, pull on it and get the grill out. But I did end up having to completely remove it to be able to put the grill back on when we were done. So I should have just done it in the first place. There we go, grill's off. Good at set it down on something safe. Just a couple saw horses, towels on it to prevent it from scratching. On the back side of the grill, there's a uh, kind of bracket that's on the back that you gotta remove. Um, Cause we're gonna run our wire harness behind that. bracket now that we're removing that give us a little bit more access to run our wiring you can see this is where we want to put our lights make sure that you're uh, counting the holes in the grill to make sure you've got it centered so here I did my count I realized it wasn't even needed to move it over one spot there we go now that middle one's centered and I can go ahead and figure out the placement for the other two. They just clip right in, pretty easy. Push in, snap in place. Put the other two in. I liked the way it looked with having uh, three empty spaces between each of the lights. Push those in, they snap right in. We get out our wiring harness.
basically what you're gonna do is just feed the wire through underneath each of those little brackets to the corresponding plug uh, at the end. Fits in there nicely. Mabbit did a nice job of uh, making all this work with the factory setup. Then these little clips, super easy to plug in. Boom. Pull a slack out of it, get it, you know, lined up nicely. Plug all those in, get them in place. And then we're gonna grab some, uh, some zip ties to secure things just a little bit more uh, neatly back there behind the grill. So I just used a few small zip ties there. Got it all bundled. We're gonna put that bracket back on. Get it lined up. Make sure the camera's going where it's supposed to go. And reinstall the bracket. Got the bracket reinstalled, the wiring ran out to the side, it's time to put it back on the Bronco. And there's that pre-runner bar, and the pre-runner bar is off. There we go. Line the line the grill up. It's pretty easy. Snaps in place. Make sure the bottom clips line up properly. Snap those in. And go ahead and reinstall the uh, the bolts. The wiring harness is coming out the driver's side of the grill so that it will go directly to the uh, fuse box easily. And there's our upper trim panel. And I neglected to show that we did reconnect the uh, wire harness and hose for the front camera. Don't forget to do that. Go ahead and uh, put all those push pins back in. Snap right in. That'll help get the finish panel reinstalled. Now it's time to wire it up. You're gonna plug the connector end into the fuse box, hook up your negative to a ground, and that's it, it's easy. There you go. Super easy instructions, looks great.